Have you ever pondered the depths of the Mariana Trench and the secrets it might harbor? Now imagine a place so deep that it could swallow the entire Mount Everest and still have over a mile to spare. That's the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of our world's oceans, plunging down nearly seven miles beneath the surface of the Pacific Ocean. Its darkness is so profound, its pressure so immense, that we've explored less of it than we have the moon. Now, let's journey back in time to about two and a half million years ago to the age of the Megalodon, a prehistoric shark that would dwarf even the largest of today's great whites. Picture a creature so massive, its length is estimated to be up to 60 feet, three times the size of an average great white shark. Its jaw, wide enough to swallow an entire car, and its teeth, as large as a human hand, sharp as a razor, and numbering in the hundreds. And here's where the mystery begins. Some believe that this monstrous shark, long thought to be extinct, might still exist in the unexplored depths of the Mariana Trench. After all, the trench is deep, dark, and vast, providing a perfect hiding place for a creature of such size and power. The trench's extreme pressure and cold temperature could, theoretically, support a creature adapted to such extreme conditions, much like the Megalodon. Moreover, the trench is teeming with life, providing a plentiful food source for a massive predator. From tiny bioluminescent creatures to giant squids, the Mariana Trench is a buffet for a creature like the Megalodon, should it still exist. But is there any truth to this theory? Could this monstrous creature still lurk in the abyss? As we delve deeper into the mystery, we will examine the evidence, look at what scientists have to say, and explore why the Megalodon continues to captivate our imaginations. So buckle up, it's going to be a deep dive into the Mariana Trench and the mystery of the Megalodon. What if I told you that there are some intriguing pieces of evidence that suggest the Megalodon might still be alive? Yes, you heard that right. There are whispers and murmurs about the possible existence of this prehistoric marine predator in the deepest, darkest corners of our oceans. Let's dive in and explore this mystery together. The first piece of this puzzle comes from various sightings reported over the years. From seasoned fishermen to amateur ocean enthusiasts, many have claimed to have witnessed a colossal shark-like creature that far surpasses any known species in size. Some of these accounts even come with blurry photographs and shaky video footage, adding an air of authenticity to these claims. Next, we have the strange deep-sea phenomena. The Mariana Trench, the deepest part of our oceans, is home to some of the most bizarre and unexplainable occurrences. From strange lights to inexplicable sounds, these phenomena have long puzzled scientists and explorers alike. Could these be signs of a lurking megalodon? And then there are the unexplained sonar readings. On multiple occasions, sonar operators aboard submarines and research vessels have picked up massive moving objects at depths where no known aquatic creature could possibly survive. These readings have sparked many debates, with some suggesting that they could indeed be signals from a living megalodon. What makes these pieces of evidence compelling for some is the sheer mystery and unexplained nature of them. The sightings, while often dismissed as hoaxes or misidentifications, are still enough to raise eyebrows. The deep sea phenomena, although potentially explainable by natural processes, leave room for speculation. And the sonar readings? Well, they are perhaps the most tantalizing piece of the puzzle, providing a glimmer of hope to those who believe in the survival of the megalodon. While intriguing, these pieces of evidence are far from conclusive. So, what does science have to say on the matter? But that, my friends, is a discussion for another scene. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the mystery of the Megalodon in the Mariana Trench. Science, as always, seeks to cut through the speculation with empirical evidence and logical reasoning. As we delve into the scientific perspective, it's crucial to know that the consensus is clear. Megalodon, the prehistoric shark that once ruled the oceans, is indeed extinct. While the notion of this colossal creature lurking in the depths of the Mariana Trench is thrilling, scientists argue that the evidence, or rather the lack thereof, doesn't support this theory. The megalodon, like all creatures, would have left traces of its existence, fossil records for instance. Yet the latest megalodon fossils we've discovered are from about two and a half million years ago, and there's a conspicuous absence of more recent evidence. Furthermore, scientists argue that the world the megalodon once thrived in has changed significantly. It was a creature adapted to a very different kind of ocean, one that was teeming with large marine mammals, the megalodon's primary food source. Today, these potential prey are not nearly as abundant. Simply put, the modern ocean would not provide enough food to sustain a population of creatures as large as the megalodon. 
Additionally, a creature of this size would have a significant impact on its environment and other species. Yet, we don't see any such signs in our current marine ecosystems. If Megalodon were still alive, we would expect to see evidence of its presence in the ecological balance of our oceans. But let's not forget the Mariana Trench itself, often cited as the perfect hiding place for this ancient beast. While it's true that we've only explored a fraction of these depths, the extreme conditions here are not ideal for a creature like the Megalodon. The cold, the pressure, the lack of light, these could be unsurmountable challenges, even for a creature as formidable as the Megalodon. Despite the scientific consensus, the theory persists. Why is that? Is it our fascination with the unknown, our love for a good mystery, or perhaps the primal fear these ancient predators evoke? As we continue this journey, let's explore the enduring appeal of the Megalodon. Humans have always been drawn to mysteries and the unknown, and the Megalodon certainly fits that bill. Why does the Megalodon theory endure? Let's dive into this a bit. The sheer allure of the unknown is a powerful draw. Our curiosity, our desire to explore and understand, is a fundamental part of our nature. The Megalodon, as a creature of the deep, unseen and largely unknown, fits perfectly into this narrative. It embodies the uncharted depths of our oceans, the vast expanses that remain unexplored and mysterious. Then there's the thrill of a good mystery. Who doesn't love a good whodunit, a riddle to solve, a puzzle to piece together? The Megalodon theory is a real-life mystery, a question that science has yet to definitively answer. Its existence or non-existence is a puzzle waiting to be solved, a story waiting to be told. And like any good mystery, it's filled with intrigue, suspense, and the promise of discovery. But perhaps the most compelling reason why the Megalodon theory continues to captivate us is our innate fascination with monsters and the supernatural. The Megalodon, in its sheer size and predatory prowess, is a true monster of the deep. It's a creature that seems to belong more in the realm of myth and legend than in the world of the living. This fascination with monsters, with creatures that defy our understanding of the natural world, is deeply ingrained in us. It's a fascination that transcends cultures and generations, a universal human trait. In many ways, the Megalodon is a reflection of our own fears and desires, our fascination with the unknown, and our thirst for discovery. It's a symbol of the mysteries that lie beneath the surface, the secrets that the deep holds. It's a reminder of the vastness of our world and the endless possibilities that it holds. So, while we may never have a definitive answer, the question of the Megalodon's existence continues to captivate us.